Hello everybody, this is Jerry for Gaming here, and I have for you episode number 5 of the Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness here on the GameCube. So in last episode, we purified Terusa, we took a little trip to Mount Battle, and we also caught the Shadow Pokemon Mary. And off screen, I walked around, I did some training at Mount Battle, there you see Vaporeon, just grew to level 18, and Mary now his Heart's Gauge, Heart's Gauge is on nothing pretty much. So now we are going to go ahead and purify him, and I think he will evolve actually, because he does get a decent amount of XP I would assume, so that'll be pretty cool. And a Mary, uh, what do you call it, what's the, I think Flappy is its evolution? That's a pretty good Pokemon, and I love Ampharos. Ampharos is definitely probably one of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon, and definitely a unique one. I mean, it's it's a monotype, which is a little bit disappointing, though Ampharos is a cool Pokemon. So let's go ahead and have Mary become a regular Pokemon. Open, its, open the door to its heart, and there you see the green aura around it, and now we will see it grow a few levels, and that'll be pretty good. You have some nice music in the background. And now we will see the levels. How many do we get? I don't care about the opening of his heart. I just care the levels. <laughs> so Body Slam, that's a pretty good move. And uh, I missed what that was. I think it said Heal Bell. Uh, I'll have to take a look at that. 1292, that's pretty good. Maybe one or two levels. That would be nice. Level 18, that's the same as Vaporeon. And okay, it doesn't... Okay, so it doesn't uh, grow another level. It grows one level. And here you'll see it evolve, so that's definitely very good. That'll help our team immensely. Having that water electric duo that we have on our team, that's also a pretty nice, uh, pleasant surprise. So here you will see, not surprise, but you know. I wouldn't, I, I wasn't thinking that I would get an electric type, though here you see our second Pokemon is a Mary Pen. It just evolved into a Flaffy, so that's pretty good. And now we'll check out its moves a little bit, and oh, maybe it does grow more levels. Let's see. Okay, we got a ribbon. Uh, we're not going to give it a nickname. And now let's take a look at its moves a little more in depth now. So they're both level 18, both monotypes. We have electric and water. And its moves, oh, looks like, looks like it's just about to grow level. So that's pretty good. It knows Body Slam, which is 85 damage, and it could paralyze the foe, so that's actually pretty good. Heal Bell chimes soothingly to heal all status problems. Okay, so I guess that just heals status problems. That's a decent move, I guess. We have Thundershock, which is 40 damage, though Stab Attack, that's 60 damage, and Thunder Wave, which is definitely a very uh, pesky move, I guess you could call it. And I don't want to call it a mistake, though in the last episode, I was meaning to catch more than one Shadow Pokemon. So now if we catch another one this episode, that won't be purified until the next episode. So we might have another Shadow Pokemon in this episode, and I wouldn't be surprised by that. It would either be this episode or the next one, because I definitely want to have more than two Pokemon, you know? Alright, so let's check out our items now. I want to see... Alright, yeah, we definitely stocked up on that. Pokeballs were looking pretty good. We have 18, and then we have one Premier Ball. So that's pretty good. And now we'll head over to that Cypher Laboratory. And we'll pick and choose the Cyphers that we want to battle. And we'll see if there are any Pokemon that we want to catch. And I realized that me catching the Mary, like, that battles a decent amount of time. So what I'm going to do is if I battle a Cypher, I'm just going to cut it out until I find a Pokemon that I like. I'll just show that part, okay? So, if there's a battle that I don't like anything, then I'll just skip to the end, and, you know, that's pretty much that's the deal, alright? So we're getting a battle with this, uh, the guy in the red, I'm assuming he's a fire type, so I'll see you guys either at the end, or in the middle. The middle will be if we find something good that I'm about to catch. Alright, so let's talk to the red guy. Alright, I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so I'm back, and this guy had a Slugma and a Houndor, so I did some damage and I also paralyzed the Houndor, so we are going to try to catch this. It's, it will evolve into a Houndoom, and it is a double type actually, it has Dark and Fire. It's a pretty unique typing, nothing that we have. And we're going to again try to catch this Shadow Pokemon here, and I think that we'll hopefully be able to get it in one shot. Um, I'll just call Flappy, I don't know. Uh, we don't need Flappy to do anything right now. So we're going to throw Snag Ball at it, and I'm pretty confident, like I said, that we'll catch it, because it's on yellow and it's paralyzed. I would be really surprised if we don't catch it. And now we'll wait to see, and we get one, two, three, and is that it? 
Yes, it is. Okay, so we got the Houndor. And now he's going to join our team now. So now we're going to have three Pokemon now. We have Vaporeon, Fluffy, and Houndor. And the final evolutions, we well, Vaporeon's already a final evolution. And Pharos and Houndoom. So seems like a pretty solid uh, party forming. And looks predominantly like Gen, uh, Gen 2, really. Alright, so let's see. We're going to restore the Houndor, and it's level 17. So I'm probably going to purify that at the be beginning of next episode. And that'll be pretty good. And we can hopefully... You know, I might even be able to purify it at the end of this episode, because we're going to be battling a decent amount with it. Alright, so now we are going to switch him out in our party. Um, I'll give Vaporeon a break, because it's been battling a heck of a lot. <laughs> Alright, so now let's go in here, and alright, so we only took one step in, and it looks like we already have a battle, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, that just finished that battle, and alright, that's weird, he just like totally disappeared. In that battle, our Flappy actually grew level, so we're going to switch back into Vaporeon, so we can keep our uh, levels pretty balanced. Alright, so we're going to move on here, and I'm sorry if this episode seems fragmented, because you know, like, these hideouts... Like, they have a lot of these peon battles, or whatever you want to call them. The grunts, I think they're called peons, I don't even know. But they're going to be kind of filled with them, so it'll be a little bit fragmented. So I think we have another one coming up soon, maybe. And can we go through this door? No, we can't. Alright, so we can go left or right, left or right. Let's go left. Let's see what's over here. And, alright, so we can go through that door. It looks like there's a professor there or something. Not a professor, uh, like a scientist. Professor's over to help you. Alright, so it looks like that guy's angry ass, so... I'll see you guys after this battle's done. And there goes that battle. Oh, wait a second. Okay, something about security, whatever. Um, alright, maybe I should have read that. <laughs> so we're just going to quickly use a potion, potion on our Shadow Pokemon here. And it uses 19, that's actually kind of funny because it does 20. But uh, anyway, we will walk over here and, okay, the door is locked so we need an ID card. And I think that finishes off this area for what we can do at this moment in time. So now we're going to go to the way that was to the right now, and we'll see if we can do anything there. And okay, um, that kind of interrupted me. Alright, well I'll see you guys in a minute then. Alright, that finishes up that battle, and now we will move on here to this door. Can we go in there? Okay, good. And now we will move on to, alright, so we can go in that one too, that's actually kind of nice. And then we will head down to the bottom floor, the basement I guess. And looks like a different type of scenario here, different scenery at least. Trying to avoid battles here, and though what's this guy saying? Looks probably important. When are they finally going to get that guy to spill the beans about the purification research? So I guess that's our dad. And so yeah, that's pretty much the idea of that. And he's a little bit surprised, so we're going to battle him. And I'm just going to commentate through this one. And so basically what we're doing right now, we're just trying to get our dad saved after he was captured by this weird team or whatever in the lab. And they're trying to just get his purification research done and everything. I'm not too sure. I mean, the whole goal of this team is just for, like, Shadow Pokemon and, I don't know. Probably the normal stuff. Oh, we gained... This is actually... No, I just gained that move, Ember. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. And I might as, use, uh, might as well use Water Gun here. And some weird types with Anorth and Lily. They were both hostile, uh, fossil Pokemon for Hona. I was about to say fossil Pokemon for Phone. Okay, that's a little bit strange. My bad, I guess. So now we're going to use Ember on the Anorth, and like I said, that's a new move that we just got, and as Shadow Pokemon gain their, I don't know, they get their Heart Gauge lore, I guess you'd say, they gain more of their moves, and each time that they get below a certain line, I assume, that's when they gain another move. I don't know, that's just what I'm assuming, pretty much. And so yeah, that's pretty much the basis of it. So this has been going on pretty smoothly with the battles, just in case you guys are wondering with that. As you see, Vaporeon's also about to grow a level, so that's cool, and... I gotta say, it's actually pretty darn annoying that, like, both Pokemon are just a little above that yellow mark, or else that could have just taken care of them. So that's a little bit frustrating. So here we're going to use Bite. Can that kill it? Instead of the... Okay, yeah, so... Water Gun or Bite didn't do more than yellow, so that's not good. Um, well, more than green, I guess you could say. However, which way you want to phrase it. And, alright, so Shadow... Whatever, Shadow Blitz, I think it was. Will not kill it there, and now it's going to use Mud Support. I think that, yeah, that just weakens electricity, which, who cares? Lily flinches, so hopefully you should finish off the battle. And as you can hear through my commentary, it's not as great or as interesting, really, to listen to. Or as, I don't know, 
visually appealing, not visually, whatever you want to call it, audiatic appealing, I don't know, uh, this is what happens when I do a lot of commentary, you know, I fumble up on my speech, I guess you could say, and, you know, <laughs> I also say, I guess you could say a lot, you know, but whatever, so that's why I don't commentate over the battles, but I figure that I've been just skipping so many of them, it's just like, you know, I might as well do one here and there, and we're probably going to have a major one soon with, uh, Commander, I guess you would call it, or, no, I think it's called an admin in this game, actually. So that'll be pretty fun, at least. And I'll be able to commentate through that a little bit easier, because I'm going to be focusing more on the actual battle, you know? Alright, so now he says do not disturb him. No problem, just don't disturb us. And here's another peon. Alright, guys, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I'm back. And in that battle, we actually lost a decent amount of HP there on Vaporeon, so I'm just going to use a potion on it. And I'm also going to switch him out for uh, Flaffy. And I want to get some more battle time with Flaffy. Since it is a new Pokemon, you know, and... Figure that I should get more battle time with it, but the reason why I switched that originally, I think I might have said this, but was because I want to keep the levels even, you know, I uh, that's one of my big pet peeves with this game, or just Pokemon in general, you know, gotta keep it even, so what's in this box now? A revival? Okay, that's useful, I guess, yeah, <laughs> I don't even know why I said I guess, I think this is actually an important room, is this where the professor is? No, this just brings us back to, is this the beginning, or, no, there it is, that's what I was thinking of, yep, please, Professor Kane, when will you tell me about your perfect cape? Purification study. <laughs> I do so want. I do so want to know. All right, that was a little bit weird wording there. That will let me power up my XD001. I do. I so made it myself. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm butchering. You know, text and stuff. <laughs> That's my bad. You gotta be joking. I would never cooperate with people like you. Oh, but why? I so don't get it. Why would you refuse an offer so wonderful as this? I don't care how often you repeat yourself, I have no intention of helping your Shadow Pokemon plan. Artificially slamming shut the hearts of Pokemon. That's a little bit harsh. <laughs> it's inexcusable. Put a stop to it immediately. Oh you, you are so mean and closed-minded. You don't even know, you don't even try to understand how marvelous it is to help my XD001. I'm assuming that's Lugia since that's the cover of the game, and I think I remember from playing it in the past, I'm not definite. Alright, so that's... I don't think that's one of the peons from earlier, or whatever, the Cypher guys, whatever. I don't think it's the same from outside, but it's similar, at least. So, uh, you yeah, know, we're just waiting. Just skipping this a little bit, skipping the dialogue. And they're gonna walk away, and I don't think Professor Kane's gonna go with them, or Crane, that is. And I guess we'll have to save him eventually. I think something's good in that little item box over there, you know? Alright, so now we are going to... I don't know if I should be skipping that or not, but... That's what we are going to do, and now we have to go ahead and try to save the professor. And alright, so I'm gonna skip this battle also. Skip this battle also. And there's actually a shadow Pokemon in the last battle, so I will let you know if there's one that uh, pokes at my interest a little bit. And you know, I'll just wait one second to see if either of these are, because Ralt is actually pretty good, you know. I'll probably try to catch it if it is a shadow Pokemon. And so yeah, this is gonna be like a half battle, I guess you could say. So we're just waiting now, see if anything's shadow. And alright, so it looks like he has a lot of Pokemon, so it's going to be a little bit of a long battle, so I'll see you guys after. Alright guys, that finishes up that battle, and that guy actually did have a Shadow Pokemon. It was a new Mel though, a new Mel being a Ground and Fire type. I already do have a Fire type, so I don't need that. Wasn't too interested, and I don't love new Mel in generally, you know. I mean, it's an okay Pokemon, but, you know, nothing spectacular. So now we're going to head down here, and maybe we can actually find something useful after running around just battling the runs the whole entire time. So that's a dead end over there, and now we have a few different passageways, and oh my goodness. I can't go, like, 30 seconds without, like, facing, like, a peon, grunts guy, whatever. Alright, I'll probably, you know, I'll commentate this unless he has, like, more than two Pokemon, and that'll just be annoying. <laughs> Alright, so we have Snowrunt and Barbouch. And we're going to send out Hondor and Flaffy, and I'm probably going to purify Hondor at the end of this. Because it'll probably only have a little bit left, and I can just walk around, you know? And that will take care of it for us. So we're going to use Ember, which will be super effective. And I wish that we could use Thundershock, though it's grounds. Um, that is Barbouch. He's water and ground, so that makes it kind of the interesting Pokemon in terms of the typing matchups. Because it... Oh man, that didn't kill it. That surprised me, actually. But... The typing matchup is water and ground, so the only thing super effective, I believe, is grass. Don't quote me on that, but I think those are the only things that is super effective to it. So that actually makes it pretty useful, because uh, Electric, one of its biggest weaknesses, doesn't affect it because of that ground addition to it, you know? So now we're just going to use the same moves as before, or, yeah, we're just going to use the same moves. 
and that should hopefully take care of these Pokemon. And that will finish off this grunt battle. And I gotta say, these grunts, I mean, they're annoying. And the most annoying part about it is, is that the battles actually do take a decent amount of time. And this is only two Pokemon. And I mean, in the normal game, like Pokemon Diamond or Pokemon Pearl, you know, Heart Gold, Black, whatever, you know, they all, I mean, they don't take this long. I mean, I'm just like pretty much just spamming the A button. It's just, you know, it takes a long time for these battles. You know, they're a lot slower, you know, just because the platform, you know, it's not like the like the game's speed itself, it's not like it's like lagging at all, it's just, you know, the movements and stuff are a little bit slower. Alright, so that will take care of that peon, and he did not have a shadow Pokemon a little bit surprisingly. And now we are going to switch out Flaffy and Vaporeon, since Flaffy just grew a level. I don't know why I just let me switch there. Though, what the heck. <laughs> We're gonna switch that out, and, uh, you know, we'll just use a potion, just to be safe, on Vaporeon. And that should fill it up, or at least do a decent amount. Okay, actually, I didn't do a lot, but we will head over here, and I bet you either way I go, I'm going to face a grunt. <laughs> Seriously. Wow. No grunt. That's actually pretty crazy. What's in here now? Have you heard Prototype XD001? Final adjustments are behind schedule at headquarters. If they, if they get... If they can get Crane to give up details about his purification study, all XD001 should be solved in one fell swoop. That's a little bit weird wording again, okay. Alright, so... Oh no, do we have to battle again? No, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, do we have to battle each of them? Oh my god, that's a pain. Alright, I'll commentate through this if there's only two. Ugh, these battles can get very annoying, seriously. Alright, come on. I mean, just sending out your Pokemon, like, is just long. I mean, seriously, you know? In fact, that's a double battle, you know. Alright, now I'll just see you guys at the end, because three Pokemon, I'd rather not, okay? So I'll see you guys in a minute. My goodness, I had to battle both of those guys. And, wait, what? Um. Okay, that's a little bit odd. I don't remember this. The screen is, like, blinking red. A bit odd there, but anyway, yeah, both of those guys, uh, I had to battle both of them. That was actually a pretty long time. That was at least, like, 5-10 minutes of just battling. That's a bit annoying, and every Porian got beat up a little bit in that battle you see there. So we're just going to take care of it, use an antidote, and I just don't want to go heal up, so that's why I'm just, you know, taking taking care of it here. Um, wait, what? It's amazing to use... Oh, oh, never mind, it was on Flaffy, because, uh, never mind, I was looking at Porian, I was like, what the heck is going on? Alright, so what is this? Is it... It's not blinking anymore. That's odd. Oh my goodness. I'm getting like sick of this. This is like way too many grunt battles. Holy crap. Alright, well, uh... How many Pokemon is this grunts that Cypher Peon have? For goodness sake. I'm gonna like, seriously like... Ugh. Is the game recording right now? I don't know how long it is. Like, the watching, uh, the view, uh... Whatever you call it. The time of the video is right now. But right now the game recording is at... 36 minutes, so it's taking a long time for me to record this, I mean, seriously, this is just madness. Alright, I might as well commentate through this, this looks like it might be a little bit of a quicker battle, hopefully. Natsu is down with the nice, easy, just bite done. So that's one of the Pokemon down, just like that. And you know what it is, a lot of these Pokemon are getting, like, I have to use like three or four hits to get them, and that's really annoying, you know? Alright, so now we're gonna use Ember, hopefully this should kill it, maybe... Since it's a bug type, come on. There we go. Wow, I haven't had one hit KOs in like forever, it feels like. Alright, so now we have to take over the Whelmer and... Oh my god, it's re it's in reverse mode now. That sucks. Well, it's actually good because I have to call it and then it'll help it actually... Uh, it's, uh, it's bar go down a lot. But still, that's, you know, it's annoying. Alright, so now we're going to use... Alright, so we're going to call him and you'll see... Keep an eye on the heart gauge. That just went down... It Crab load right there. That went down a lot. Alright, so we're gonna use Bite. And hopefully that should do a decent amount. Alright, so that puts it on yellow. That's good. Please don't use any water type moves. Okay, good. So Flinch. That's even better. Alright, so we're gonna use Ember. That probably won't do like, it'll do like next to nothing, I would assume. Then we're going to use Bite here. And that will take care of the Whelmer. And he fainted. Good. Alright, so now that will finish off that Peon Cypher dude. Alright, so we're actually getting really, really close to purifying our Houndor. What is that right now? Uh, 
Like half, maybe? Less than that, or maybe, you know, maybe like two thirds even, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Way too many ciphers. Overdoing it. Alright, so we found an ether, I guess that's good. That's good. Um, so, anytime, I wouldn't be surprised when we're walking around if that heart gauge, if it hits zero, you know, my control will vibrate a little bit, and that will indicate that it's ready to be purified. Ugh, this area's giving me a headache. <laughs> Not literally, but you know, it's just, it's a lot, you know? A lot of battling, you know? Alright, so now we're gonna head up here, and, alright, so this is our restore point, so maybe we're getting somewhere with this now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and restore, even though I just restored Vaporeon. <laughs> And probably we're going to be purifying our hound door soon, hopefully. And what's in this box? Oh my god. Alright, so it looks like there's something important in there, at least. How many Pokemon does this guy have? Doesn't have a lot, then I'll commentate through this also. Because, I mean, the, the way that this whole video seems, it's probably a little bit boring, because it's just like, you know, me talking a little bit, then we cut, and then a little talking, cut, a little talking, you know? Alright, so hopefully only two Pokemon. Oh, four Pokemon. Alright, I'm gonna cut this out because I don't want it to be useless commentary. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Wow. These battles are like taking an eternity. Well, anyway, in that battle, two good, th uh, good thing and a bad thing happened, that is. And Houndor fainted. That's a bad thing. Oh, it is ready to be purified. So we'll see what that item is in the box in a minute, though. We'll just restore quickly. Since it is right there, the healing machine. <laughs> and now, hopefully there's an exit nearby and we can go run and purify the hound or maybe that'll uh, finish up this episode. We can at least find an exit. Uh, it's the ether. Wow, I thought it was gonna be a, uh, what do you call it, like a key or something useful. But nope. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing yet. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and try my hardest to find exit and try to get to the purify chamber area or whatever. Alright, so I'll see you guys when I get to that, uh, the relic forest, uh, a gate village that is. Alright, hey guys, I am back and I am in the relic forest, I believe you'd call it. And we are going to go ahead and open the door to Houndor's heart, it seems. So we'll enter here now and hopefully we can finish off this episode on high note at the relic stone. So let's see. Yep, indeed, we do have Houndor who's ready. And there you'll see once again that green aura with a little bit of that purplish black, I guess you could call it, you know, leaving its body, and it opened the door to its heart. A little bit of a corny aspect to the game, but, you know, I think it's cool. All right, so how many levels does it grow? I think a decent amount, definitely. All right, so faint attack, that's a very good move. I don't think that ever misses, if I'm right. And charm, which is a decent move, and we get a lot of XP from that. Maybe, hopefully, like, two or three levels, maybe. So we got one level. Maybe another level. Okay, good. Two levels. Can we get another one? I got a ribbon. Okay, so we got two levels. That's cool, I guess. And that will finish off this episode of Let's Play Pokemon XD. Gallop of Darkness. So we have level 19 Houndor, level 20 Flaffy, and level 21 Vaporeon. So in this episode, we did a lot. I do not know how long this episode is. Because my recording says 48 minutes right now, and I don't know how long the battles are going to cut out and other things, and then add in the little intro, you know. So I hope this episode wasn't too long. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Maybe it's only 20 minutes, maybe it's a half hour, <laughs> you know. So we got a lot done, though. We got, we purified Mareep, evolved into Flaffy. We took care of a lot of their secret hideout, base, whatever you want to call it. The Houndor we also caught, we... Purify that in the next episode. We'll finish off the base, and hopefully that should be a lot shorter of an episode because there's a lot less to do in the base, and it'll be a short episode. So that finishes off this episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry if it was long, but I'll try and make it a little bit shorter next time. But I cut corners when I could, so well you know cut corners out isn't good. Not like taking shortcuts, you know whatever can make it shorter. The actual video length. So before I go on too much rambling, um, thank you for watching, guys. This is Jam for Gaming. I'm out.